So this has nothing to do with today's video, but for Halloween this year, my son was a dragon. Oh yes, that happened, and it was glorious. But for today, we're talking about something just as glorious, and that's movement, watches, and sunglasses. On to the intro. What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are revisiting a brand I introduced to you here a short while ago on the channel called Movement. If you missed that video, I will toss it up at the top of the screen for you to take a look at, but today we're taking a look at a couple more items from their large lineup. These are some items that I actually chose to pick up myself as we make the transition into the fall and winter seasons, and as we all know, accessories are the perfect way to top off any fall outfit. I am so ready to be away from the hot weather. The cooler months are my favorite time of year. I'm big into the sweater weather fashions, and I think the items we're looking at today, while small, complement this time of year very well. Honestly, most of the movement lineup would be good any time of year, but since we're here, I thought it would be cool to take a look at these new items and show you how I pair them in an outfit. First though, let's get a quick look at these items that we're specifically talking about today. Today we're looking at three more items from the Movement lineup. First is the Voyager Series watch in sterling silver. This watch features a 42mm case size, a 21mm strap width, and a battery powered 5 hand Miyota dual time movement. It's also made with hardened mineral crystal and is waterproof at 10 ATM. We're also looking at two pairs of sunglasses today, the polarized hide frames with crystal mirror lenses and the weekend frames with dark blue lenses. These weekend frames are super nice. They feel really sturdy and their design is actually engineered for balance, comfort, and durability. So if you're one of those people that can pull these off, which clearly I'm not, these can make for a really nice pair of sunglasses at a reasonable price of about 105 bucks. That being said though, I don't think I can really pull these off, but who knows, what do you guys think? I do actually really like these hide frames though. What I really like about these frames is the tinted mirror lenses. They are a really nice touch. They're also really comfortable to wear. Combining these two accessories with some simple clothing items like a button up and a jean jacket is an easy fall time combo that both looks good and is comfortable to wear. The major thing I like about these sunglasses and actually the ones I showed you in the last movement video is how comfortable they are on my face. They just fit really nice. And the same goes for the watch. It fits perfectly on my wrist and I never really had any problems with it. I have seen some people, including some of you viewers, complain about these watches in the comments and stuff, but honestly I haven't really found anything to be a problem with them as far as mechanics go or build or anything like that. I'm not saying that that stuff doesn't happen. I've had watches that just stop working in the past too. But I did notice that on the movement website, it specifically says that if something just stops working or randomly breaks, that's not your fault. Movement has a two year warranty on all their watches. So that really shouldn't be that big a deal. If something just stops working, they'll replace it. Speaking of the watch, I also got the chance to look at their interchangeable bands, which I think is a really cool feature. Movement has several options for bands that work with their timepieces, and it's actually super easy to swap them out with their quick release latch. If you want to take a look at any of the items I showcase here today or any of the other items from the large lineup at Movement, I will throw a link down below along with a coupon code to save you some money on your next order. If you haven't yet done so, make sure you also hit that subscribe button and drop me a like along with a comment down below as well. And that is it for today's episode. I want to thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out this video. I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween. I'll see you guys next time.